Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. We're back in the game. I got Arsh behind the camera. I got my boy on the back there, getting the cars all shiny. 66 T-Bird convertible. Now you say to yourself, well, you know what, Don? I've heard that the, uh, you know, the 50s vintage convertibles are the convertibles to buy. Well, you know what? Those were the first iconic breed of these kind of cars, kind of launched themselves into, you know, a classic T-Bird. But what's happened now, is that these T-Birds here have really become more popular. One of the reasons why is because they weren't nearly as expensive as the original birds were, and now these ones here have a lot more accoutrements, plus they drive significantly better, or so to say different, uh, than the early birds do. The early birds are a little tight inside, they're two-seaters. These ones here, they're four-seaters, and they have some really nice options and features, which makes them luxury cars, as well as being a little bit sporty as too. So they throw in kind of a big performance engine, so you got a little bit of a muscle car, you got a little bit of classic styling, you got a convertible, you got four seats, you could actually see five in here if you wanted to, and uh, I don't know, this makes for me an awesome, awesome kind of car, especially a beach car, a great weekend car, go to dinner car, it's that kind of car. So let's take a walk around, we're gonna check out some cool stuff, you're gonna see what you like about it, and uh, hopefully we'll find a way to get into your garage. So I what I like to do is I like to go over the quality of the paint for a second, so come on in, let's check that out, all right? Now this is the original color, all right? Honeydew Yellow. Great name, really, so iconic of 60s. But look how clear you can read all of the letters, the lines, all of those things. That's what you should be looking for in paint. Now, when you're buying these cars online, you know, you're seeing pictures and those kinds of things can really hide some of the details. Get somebody to do the video. You're online looking at my car, you're looking at the video going, wow, man, this guy's put a little effort into it. Well, you're right. I'm putting an effort into it because I want you to be able to make a decision. The reason why is, is the pictures can hide details that you can't really see. Like for instance, when you see a picture, can you see everything like the, like the make of the camera and the reflection of the paint? You should be able to see that kind of detail for good quality paint, okay? You should be able to see if they're wearing a shirt, what is the emblem on the shirt? Can you read that emblem really well? Those are the things that, uh, that pictures can hide. So what we do is we take it a little bit farther and do the video and that's why you get to see that. So let's keep walking around, we're gonna do some styling stuff. So come on down here. These are the things that make cars expensive, all right? First off, this car has disc brakes. You can't see it inside, but I like to talk about it because don't forget, a lot of these cars back in the day only came with drum brakes and modern cars today, we kind of expect those things. We expect power steering, which this car has. We expect power brakes, which this car has. And a lot of people forget to ask about those things, so they might buy a car and find out later on that it has no power steering, no disc brakes, no power brakes. Hmm. This one here, real wire wheels, okay? These are not hubcaps, they're very expensive. Plus these are custom built Broadway classic uh, white walls with a certain width for the white wall just to give it that kind of uh, original distinctive look. You can also amp it up a little bit too if you like with some white letter tires. Up to you. It changes the look of the car and adds it a little more sporty. This adds a little more class to it and uh, uh, that's really kind of a, a decision that you'll make once you get your uh, car in the driveway. Okay? We can also change that for you here if you like. Alright, so let's keep walking around. So we're talking about the Thunderbird. It's still got a sporty uh, look to it. Here we have uh, uh, the look of a hood scoop, right? To give it a little bit of the performance version that you might be looking for. And as we walk around towards the back, and we keep going here, the body's kind of sculpted. Keep in mind, we're still part of the jet age. Things uh, like that are just coming out. Uh, and it's designed to look very sporty. The styling back here, come check this out. So for instance, like the rear bumper. This is a pretty expensive piece, believe it or not. Look the way it's molded in. It's not just a straight bumper that might go across a Camaro or a Mustang, something like this. This is a premium vehicle. It's very expensive for its time. And when we do the top operation, you're gonna see it's like a ballet, the way this opens up, the top unfolds itself. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. When you think about a new Mercedes that does it, this was doing it back uh, in the 60s, so pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look under the hood for a minute because you know what, if you're gonna go to a car show, this is the place that you're going to get judged as well, and I like to make sure that you get some detail when you get a car here from us at Fleming. So, for instance, here's the original 390 V8, okay, it's the original 390 car, all right? Started life at 315 horsepower, this may have just a little bit more when it's rebuilt, okay? But it's also detailed nicely. We talked about a couple things, and I want to point those out to you. Power steering, we forget, that's a really nice feature. Power disc brakes, very nice. All right, the engine's painted the right color. We have the right decals in place. We have a battery topper on here. You got the right air cleaner, insulation. It's painted like it's supposed to be in here. Keep in mind the less expensive cars that Ford would make uh, only were painted black inside. The premium vehicles like this were painted body color. And it makes it just for a much nicer look. 
a la uh, Chrysler that spent a lot of money painting their cars as well. But so for me, I think that any time that you can have uh, uh, the jewel under the hood look as good as the outside, that kind of completes the whole package and you really need to have that done. Nothing worse than uh, taking your shirt off and having a hair on your back. How you doing? Uh -huh. No, you don't want that, you want this. All right, cool, so let's go ahead and check out the inside of the car. Listen, one of the things about these cars is that they have some awesome, awesome features, and that's why the video is so important, because you may or may not know about some of these things. For instance, this car here, loaded with power seats on both sides, right? This has a tilt-away steering column. Check this out, look how easy it is to get in. It locks into place, and you're ready to go, okay? Full gauges, including 120 mile an hour speedometer, full uh, oil pressure, fuel, water temperature, and bolts. Now, it's proposed that and told to us by that this car here was purchased by RJ Reynolds for his wife, uh, brand new. It still has the plaque on the dash showing RJ Reynolds purchased it, which is kind of cool. Original AM radio in here, power windows, power top. We talked about the power steering and things like that. And it's just got this cool kind of wrap through console here. It's designed to really be a four passenger uh, just kind of cool sports car, luxury car, all of the above mixed in there. So as you're driving down the road, the speedometer here uh, unfolds and colors itself to let you know how fast you're going. And then the gauges are all easy to see. You have uh, individual wipers and washers. Before it's time, left air and right air for a driver and passenger, so we call that, uh, today we'll call it dual mode climate control. Back then it was left air and right air, okay? And a good idea on a restoration and, and how well it's been done are little things like uh, the carpet, like this has been replaced, the interior has been redone, uh, what works and what doesn't. For instance, like the clock works in this car. Most people don't do the clock in a car because it's the last step, it's still an expensive process and most people don't really care, but if you're really doing a restoration you really want it done right, that's the last detail that you do to it, okay? Everybody even has their own power window switches, but I'll just do this here because I can't reach behind me. Look at that. Hello, how are you doing? Um, all right, so uh, we talked about all the accoutrements that you might get from the, the, uh, all the power equipment and those kinds of things. One of the things that we haven't talked about is the convertible top, which I think is one of the most spectacular feats of ballet and automotive design you see today's modern cars that you know you push a button and the trunk uh, opens or the top does itself these cars are doing it back in the 60s starting with uh, even the Lincoln in 61 where it did that so how about we take a peek at that and see how it goes and the cool stuff. Power seats. Keep in mind we're talking about circa 1966, you know? Power windows. All that good stuff you could get back in the day. It's just really cool. And then you got things like this that you miss. Check these out. Vent windows that actually work. And you'll be surprised at how well they work. They blow the air inside while you're rolling down the road. It's just really, really nice. Great touches remote mirrors. You can see, like the reason I'm running over all of these things is these are a lot of features that you couldn't get on any car. And that's why these are so expensive and that's why these are becoming so popular now. All right, so one of the cool features about these cars is sequential turn signal. You say, well, sequential turn signal. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Check this out. That is really good looking. It's just cool. 
That's why these cars are great. Anyway, sorry if I get too excited about it. Ivy gold bucket seat interior. It's really a four passenger car with a lot of great features like power windows, dual power seats, power steering, power disc brakes. The effort that's gone into rechroming the bumpers and the grill and the details and the mirror and the stainless trim. You have no idea if you've never restored a car what it costs and how long it takes to do it. That's why this is the way to buy the car. Now keep in mind the price includes free and closed door to door shipping anywhere in the continental US. Right now these cars are coming with a one year warranty. Huh? That's pretty exciting when you think about that. Anyway, if you can find a way to get a really cool convertible in your life that drives wonderfully and you can have some fun with it, call us. 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.